it's not been around much on YouTube lately. Like in the last year, I think I've put out like a video a month on average. And a lot of people ask me as the time span between videos gets further and further between, is the channel like done? Are you done putting videos up? Are you done making content? I wanted to take a few minutes today and really explain why I don't make as many videos and the status of the channel. Cause is it dead? Spoiler alert, no, but it's definitely going through some growing pains and uh, yeah. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt, usually called Big Nerdy. Together we are the NWO, the Nerd World Order. And this is Nerdzoic. All right, let's talk about YouTube. And I got some notes, but this is largely going to be one of those stream of conscious videos. So I apologize if I'm all over the place. I'm like the dog from up squirrel. That's my life. I spent like the last feels like a year trying to get like the perfect setup because I kept making excuses of like, well, I don't make YouTube videos because I just can't get the tech right. I just want to make sure everything's keyed in and it keeps pushing me back further and further. And there is some truth to that. Like I can't film after going through any tech issues. So like if I have to key in cameras or lighting or anything, by the time I'm done, even if it only takes me a minute, I'm just, I have no personality. I don't want to do no camera. I don't want to do nothing. I've been using the tech as an excuse and looking back, it was definitely a wall that I hit. And there was also like a content wall that I hit. Now, by the way, I did get this tech like keyed in right. I got everything perfect now. And maybe next week's video, I'll take you on a tour of the new setup of the warehouse slash studio because things are looking freaking sweet. And it is a lot easier for me to make content. But like I said, bit of an excuse that I have built in there. The truth is somewhere along the line, I kind of blurred whether me and Nerdzoic are a YouTube channel that started a store. And that's what we were. That's what I always wanted to be. But then it became like, oh no, this is a store that also has a YouTube channel. And like people started questioning it. And by questioning it, I mean like people are like, oh yeah, did you know that store has a YouTube channel? Which is great because obviously uh, we make more money with a store than a YouTube channel. But like, I don't, that's not how this was supposed to be. I want to be viewed at as like the collector who started the store and has a channel and talks about toys. Not like, oh, he's just trying to get some people in the door. And I don't think people view it that way, but it's important to me not to let it become that way. One of the other reasons I haven't made that many videos is because toys became my job. With the toys no longer being my outlet and more being my job, my creativity went pew. I've been struggling with ideas. When I started the channel, I was initially gonna do like reviews and countdowns, and I quickly realized I'm out of my depth on reviews and it is so oversaturated, not gonna do that. Went into the countdowns, the top 10 list, and they did awesome. But I kind of hit a point where I'm like, I'm running out of things to count down. Then there was the, the value videos. And while I really enjoy making those, it kind of pigeonholed me into like, oh, it's the guy who only cares about money. He's not a real collector. And obviously those of you who watch regularly know that's not true, but it did kind of bother me that people saw me that way. And a lot of people, if it was their first impression, it wasn't a great first impression. So I say all this to say, no, the channel is not dead, but it is indeed evolving. What is it evolving into? Well, we're gonna see a lot more toy history videos, I think. That's something I really wanna hit. We're also gonna see me kinda of dive outside of just toys a little bit into more nostalgia-based stuff. So I might talk more about some cartoons. I might talk more about some comics. Then of course I'll talk about the business, but honestly, that's only for like a small part of my audience. What I really wanna spend a lot more time talking about is whatever's in the news. Cause like there's just new stuff going on every day. So I say all that to say, guess what? We're going back to weekly videos every week, back to every Monday at 10 AM. As long as I can do it, I'm really trying to lock in and do this here and not have any more gloves. Hell, we start off at two times a week. We can totally get back to once a week. Oh wait, there's more. So in addition to going back to weekly videos, I hope soon, to start a couple of different live shows that are also going to be repurposed into edited podcasts. I've talked about wanting to do some kind of a business of toys type show. That is one of the shows I like to launch in the next few months, as is a weekly news roundup show that's more of a round table. And honestly, this is largely inspired by the guys over at 3POA, the guys over at Dorklare, and of course the guys over at Geek Dad Life. I love their shows and I was I want to do my own version of it. Gonna find a couple guys or gals, as long as they're nerds, and we're going to talk about the weekend toys every week. I'm really looking forward to doing that. You'll also start seeing a lot of short form vertical video from me. I really want to try to start doing a couple of those every day. So whether they're like store related, like, hey, look what we got, or like, hey, did you see this happen? Like today, I'm filming this on the day that the HasLab was 
like officially announced and we saw it with the cantina i could be talking about stuff like that so yeah that's kind of where we're going with the content here folks now the store let's talk about the store store doing really well still uh right now focused on trying to get some direct accounts with mcfarland and mattel we'll see how that goes uh really want to get wrestling figures in that's why mattel we'll see if i can make it happen how about a physical location i got no clue i really don't plan on doing it anytime soon i like to get some warehouse space sooner than later but frankly, I'm not going to jump into it because overhead is so low here. It allows me to go and invest in other things in the business. I've said many times before, I want to do a Nerdzoicon, maybe do like a live version of the nerdies. And I know that's a huge undertaking, but we'll see. Both Anne and I feel really blessed for this business to kind of have like developed into what it has and that we're able to do this full time. We're always like just thinking, all right, what can we do now? What can we do next? How can we do this even better? How can we continue like the mission of helping people forget the craziness of life to do the nostalgia thing and talk about about going into Toys R Us as a kid and what it felt like and how now there is no Toys R Us and it's sad. Life-wise, things are good. Anna's doing well. Kids are doing awesome. Went to WrestleMania, shot some footage, was going to make a whole video out of it, but like getting footage was really, really, really tough. So definitely not the vlogging type of situation. And I'm I'm really bad at vlogging as we've already documented. I still tried and it didn't go well. Went to Raw with the boy last week, got to see some Jey Uso in the concourse. That was cool. The boy did some eating. I did some filming. Everyone was happy. On a personal level i really want to try to drop some weight because since i started this channel kind of corresponding with COVID, i put on about 80 pounds now, as bad as that sounds, it could be bad or worse, depending on how you look at it, but I was already down a bunch, so I'm still down from my highest over 100 pounds, but uh, let me just do math. Highest weight, 450, got bariatric surgery, got down to 270, boom, here comes the pandemic, boom, back up to 350. I'm trying to get out, do more things physically, because frankly, like, my energy level is garbage, and I feel like I could do so much more in life if I had some more energy, so I need to drop the weight. Plus, my dad's young passing was largely because he took terrible care of himself and really that came down to what he ate he ate like garbage so yeah if i can get that under control i'd like to start another channel that's going to be really business focused and talk about my other interests like entrepreneurship leadership team building and from that i'd really like to do some consulting some coaching in there and just help people build their business and their team and find their business even. Like so many identify, man, I want to get out of corporate life, but man, what do I do? And I want to help them figure out, okay, what are your skills? How do we turn that into a business? How do we make that business start and grow? So yeah, I just spell out a lot of stuff. And honestly, I just kind of wanted to have a, hey, let's get back to YouTube and video and show you where things are and just kind of update people on things that they keep asking me. So, and I know I spit out like a bunch of ideas in there and I'm curious to know what sounds most interesting to you. And remember, you got to get old. You don't have to grow up. Just be cool and stay nerdy.